Hi guys, in this video I want to share with you some information on vitamin B6, okay? Now, vitamin B6 is kind of like a coenzyme. It's a helper vitamin involved in so many different body chemical reactions. It's kind of like the, the catalyst, the thing that allows everything to work. It's like the glue that connects things together. Um, but you have the inactive version, okay, and then the active version, which is called pyridoxal 5-phosphate. It's PLP, okay? And um, if you're going to take a supplement, I think I would recommend this active form because it's stronger and it's, uh, it's pretty effective for a lot of different things. So let's just kind of go through uh, the symptoms that you would have uh, if you were going to take this. One is carpal tunnel syndrome, okay? Also fluid retention, okay? Pins and needles, sleep problems, neuropathy, that's nerve damage, trigger finger, fatigue, dermatitis, um, cracks in the corners of your mouth right here, sleepiness to the point where you need so much sleep and you can't seem to recover. Okay, I mean you can't seem to wake up basically. You're just like sleeping and you're just not waking up. Okay, you might have a child like that that just won't get out of bed. Give them some B6. Okay, heart attacks. Uh, mainly due because a B6 deficiency will increase uh, something called homocysteine which I'm going to put a link down there below but it's an it's a risk factor for heart attacks and heart problems, okay? All right, so the function is a catalyst for over 100 enzymes, mainly in protein reactions. It helps you make the blood, makes GABA, which is a neurotransmitter that helps with uh, your mood and relaxation and stress and pleasure. It makes, helps you bring your mood up. Uh, glycogen breakdown, it breaks down sugar, so it's involved in blood sugars. Uh, it's involved in metabolism in general and also in the making of neurotransmitters. And that would be like serotonin and everything. It's, those are all protein-based. Um, what would cause a deficiency, which is interesting because this is in a lot of foods. It's very easy to get this vitamin, but it's really not that you're not getting it from your diet. It's that either maybe you're drinking you know, alcohol that could be depleting it, uh, or you're a diabetic, or have blood sugar problems because insulin can lower that as well. Uh, insulin resistance liver damage or dysfunction, gallbladder problems, uh, ear, uh, bowel issues, leaky gut, uh, any type of IBS, any type of bowel problem. Uh, let's say you had gastric bypass, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, birth control pills, antibiotics, or steroids, which is adrenal hormones, uh, like cortisone or prednisone. That will deplete this, and you may find that you know, you start developing these symptoms and all you have to do is take some of this and you'll start feeling better immediately, okay? So I just wanted to mention it and thanks for watching. Did you realize that taking the wrong type of B6 could actually cause a vitamin B6 deficiency? Now, vitamin B6 is a cofactor for over a hundred different enzymes. There's a lot of things going on in the body chemistry-wise, B6 is involved in a lot of these biochemical reactions, including controlling cortisol, which is a stress hormone, including making serotonin, which is an anti-stress neurotransmitter, and it's involved in converting amino acids into glucose. Your body actually has the ability to make sugar. It's called gluconeogenesis from non-carbohydrate sources, from fat, ketones, and even amino acids. You need B6 to make that happen. And so getting enough B6 prevents depression, stress, and even anxiety. But the problem is this. If you take the wrong kind, it could potentially give you depression, more stress, and anxiety. So you never want to take this form right here, which is not even the active form. It's kind of like a, a precursor. It's called pyridoxine. And so if you have B6, read the label. And if it has this version, that's not the one that you want. You want this version right here, pyridoxal 5-phosphate or P5P. This one won't create deficiency symptoms. This one can. And so it's not even the amount of B6 you take. It's the type of B6 that can create this problem. So how do you end up with the B6 deficiency? Taking the wrong kind, as I just said drinking alcohol, having higher levels of stress will deplete your B6. Inflammation can reduce vitamin B6 in your body. Birth control pills 
can reduce B6, having malabsorption problems, gut problems, having some genetic alteration. So let's say you had something called a polymorphism where your, uh, your genes have a defect that won't let you absorb B6, which by the way, a certain percentage of the population has that problem and that can create a deficiency. And also certain medications can create a B6 deficiency. And so the only reason I'm doing this video is that some people are taking B6 for these symptoms and they're wondering why it's getting worse. Well, now you know. Let's talk about why vitamin B6 can potentially help you with your carpal tunnel syndrome. What is carpal tunnel syndrome? Well, you have this little tunnel that goes through your wrist and there's a nerve called the median nerve. And when you get compression of that nerve, you have carpal tunnel syndrome. And you can get a pain, numbness, tingling in the fingertips, uh, especially at night. You can find that your grip strength is weaker. And the typical treatment is putting you in a splint, doing surgery, doing steroids, completely unnecessary. I did a video a while ago on carpal tunnel syndrome, I'm gonna put a link down below, of using an acupressure technique. Extremely powerful. Um, if you have carpal tunnel syndrome, you have to check it out and read the comments because it's like one for one, people are doing this and getting rid of their carpal tunnel syndrome. So if you have pain on this side, for example, you work on the opposite uh, forearm, okay? This part, the back part here. You massage all through here, I show you how to do it, I demonstrate it, and uh, you'll be amazed, okay? But there's also something else you can do. Take some vitamin B6 in the form of pyridoxal 5-phosphate. That is the form of B6 that you wanna take. I would recommend 100 milligrams twice a day. But if you're deficient in zinc, B6 will not work, okay? So you wanna make sure you take zinc with it, roughly about 50 milligrams. So many people are deficient in zinc. And that could be the reason why B6 is not working. There's a couple little points you want to know about zinc. Um, if you're getting phytic acid from the grains, for example, because you're in a high-carb diet, you're doing breads and pasta, things like that, or cereal, that could be the reason why you're deficient in zinc. Also, if you're on a high-carb diet, you're doing refined grains in general, that refined carbohydrate will deplete zinc. Also, if you have a lot of stress, that can deplete zinc. But the reason why vitamin B6 works for carpal tunnel syndrome, especially if you have enough zinc, is because it acts as an analgesic. It actually increases your pain threshold so you don't feel the pain. But also, in addition to the B6, don't forget this massage technique. I put the link right down below. Check it out. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof your immune system. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before